This tutorial is going to break down this ghost text reveal animation within After Effects. I'm going to break this into these four steps so you can find the timestamps in the description down below and jump around where needed. This is a beginner tutorial so nice and easy to follow along. Let's jump in. Alright I'm inside of After Effects. I've got my composition open already and I've got a text layer here and a background layer here ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the reveal animation so to do that I'm gonna to go to effects and presets and type in mirror and drop this on to my text layer and I'm gonna drag this back to the beginning and click the stopwatch to add in a keyframe and I'm just gonna drag this down to minus 128 then I'm gonna move forward to two seconds and I'm gonna drag this back up to 144 so when I play through you can see it comes onto the screen goes right around and goes away again now I want to create the trail so I'm going to go over to effects and presets and type in echo grab this layer and drop it onto my text layer so as the name of this effect suggests it's going to create an echo of the animation that you have whatever animation that may be so adjusting these details is going to change things like how long your echo animation is going to take, how many echoes there are, how kind of opaque the echo is. So for example I'm going to drag the amount of echoes I have up to 80 and I want to adjust the time it's going to take slightly. So I'm just going to type it in because it's hard to adjust so I'm going to go to 0 0.0 Two, two. And this is starting to get a little slow for my computer so I'm just going to lower this to quarter while I'm working. If you don't know what this is it changes the resolution so you can move a lot quicker. This is looking how I would expect but the problem is the reason it's so solid as I mentioned before is the decay so I'm going to bring this down to 0.8. Eight. and now you can see it's got that lovely fade so this is what I've got when I play through now it already kind of looks like it's a little bit blurry but I assure you that's just because my resolution is so low in fact I'll bring it back here and I'll change this back to full and you can see it's actually very sharp now so I want to create that wispy kind of ghosty trail that you saw in the example. So to do this I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in CC radial and I'm going to go ahead and drop this onto my layer. So I want my blur to follow this rotation. So to do that I'm going to go to type and I'm going to change this to rotate fading and I'm going to bring the amount up slightly to three. You can see it's kind of blurring off in this direction it's quite nice and I'm also going to bring the quality up to 100 so that's going to make it really nice and blurred. By the way if you are trying to recreate this effect and it doesn't have like a rotation you don't want to use that rotate fading I would encourage you to check out some of the other blurs in the blur and sharpen category for example the fast blur or something like that maybe you could animate different directions I don't know I just thought of that just now so next I'm going to go up to layer new adjustment layer and I'm going to go to effects and presets and type in grain now before you add this effect save your project because this can sometimes kill your computer so I'm just going to drop this onto my adjustment layer and I'm going to bring the intensity up to two I'm still on a preview so I'll just change this to final output there you have it check out this video right here to see what else you can do with an after effects see you in the next one bye